All right, welcome back, guys. I am so happy to be here. It is a beautiful day, May 2nd, um, here in San Antonio. It has been raining for the last week, probably, and today is the first day the sun has come out, and it's gorgeous. And I'm so happy because Cravers was doing a crawfish boil. So I went and hit them up. It'll probably be, it might be my last time to get to have them this season, so... I'm going to enjoy it and savor it. So I got four pounds of crawfish, and I got half a pound of jumbo head-on shrimp. And we're just going to go ahead and dig in. Um, oh, man. Great flavor. So I got the very end of the first drop. I was really hoping to get the second drop, but... I also didn't really want to wait another 45 minutes. They were popping. Man. They were boiling out at the Block SA, which is like a food truck park and bar. Like the Point, um, which I've been to several times. But closer to the university. Mm. Wonderful. Perfectly cooked, so well seasoned. Look at this claw. So, there is nowhere to park, nowhere to sit. The line was wrapped all the way around all the other food trucks. Felt really bad for them. Go vegan, a vegan food truck was right next to them. And so everybody was just standing in front of their window. Oops. I also got some crack butter. So I'm at Orsinger Park here in San Antonio. So since it's a beautiful day. There's tons of people out. I don't know if y'all can hear. Um, there's this adorable family in front of me right now that is playing, um, like, big beer pong, but kid-friendly. <laughs> they have big red solar cups on the ground. And they're all playing... It's super cute. So they're super excited. It's so nice to see a bunch of people out here with no masks on, guys. Things are getting back to normal. Oh my gosh, Jason has done outdone himself today. Fabulous. I am trying a new setup today. Um, and if this works out well, if this video turns out, it's going to be great because I will be able to go to restaurants and do some videos while I'm waiting to get back in my house. Let's dip this one. It's the butter. Mm. Wonderful. It's not quite maybe as high quality as my um, other videos just because it is on my. Ooh. I was afraid that was going to happen. So it's on my phone, and it's on a new mount that I'm not really sure how to work exactly. <laughs> so, as you can just see, it may fall over some, but um, hopefully not too much. Mm.
Yeah, the shells are starting to get really hard now. Until the season is coming to an end. Crawfish season typically comes to an end around here, end of May. It's when you really have to call it done. Unless you get frozen bugs or you get them from other places, um, not Louisiana. And there are different subspecies. Not as good. In my opinion, at least. All right. I'm coming. Stay. I'm going to have to eat these fast so I don't keep having to get up and move this. So I have absolutely no updates on my house for you guys. I was hoping to be showing you like videos of progress and stuff, but it hasn't really changed in weeks and that's really annoying. Mm. Yum. So thank you guys for bearing with me while I get all of this sorted out. It's all been awesome. Um, I feel like I'm just throwing you crumbs as I release a few videos here and there, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? All right, look at this butter. Mm. So good. So in true Texas fashion, it's been 60 degrees, and then today it's like 85. So it's a little warm, but it's just so pretty. The breeze is gorgeous, and the sun has just been so welcome. Allie and I just couldn't pass up a chance to sit at the park. I was going to hang out at the block and do a live stream from there, but it was so crowded and all the seats that were left were in the sun and it was just way too hot for that. And the music was super loud, so 
copyright strikes and all that fun stuff. Not that I get paid for these videos, but one day maybe. Hopefully that works now. My mouth and my phone smell like crawfish after messing with it so much, but it's okay. I can fix that. Well, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I don't know where everyone lives. So sound off below and let me know how your state's doing reopening from all this COVID stuff. Are y'all back to normal? Are you still on lockdown? How's it going? I don't know if any of y'all know how to make crawfish at home, but I can give you a little crash course right now. So if you do real Cajun crawfish, no sauce, no sprinkle, soaked, not, no butter. Um, that's how I like it. not as heavy. I feel like the meat has a lot more flavor. And the head is more juicy. I think the butter sauces really weigh you down. And they make your skin burn for a really long time, so just not a fan. And it's not what I grew up on. So anyways, a Louisiana style boil. Season up your water really, really heavily with crawfish seasoning of your choice. So that's where everybody's gonna differ. I think we use Louisiana. Um, Zatarans is really popular also. There's also frog bone and um, there's a ton of like little ones that you can do. Some people add extra cayenne, some people add extra salt, which I don't really recommend. If you add extra salt and then you actually cook it properly, it's going to be way too salty. 
So we use some powder and some liquid boil. And then we add garlic heads cut in half, onions cut in quarters, lemons, oranges, um, and then we also like to add in like Brussels sprouts and mushrooms and sausage. You gotta cook the potatoes separate. I'll never cook at the same time as the crawfish. So you bring all of that to a boil in your big pot, like a rolling boil. It needs to be like super, like the water should be like dark red. Make you cough, make you sneeze. Very, very seasoned. Bring your water to a rolling boil. Drop in your crawfish. They're alive. You've rinsed them. Gotten them all clean. Hang on. I got bugs crawling on me. So you've gotten them all clean. Um, throw them in the water. The water will stop boiling. Bring it back to a boil. Turn off the heat. And then you either add in 10 pounds of ice or a bunch of frozen corn on the cob. And that'll cool down your water so your crawfish doesn't overcook. And you let them soak for 45 minutes at least. My grandpa and I have been doing an hour this year and they have been amazing. So we let them soak for about an hour and then you pull them out, throw them in an ice chest and serve. Start round two. They are super amazing. Cooked perfectly. Full of flavor. For a sack of crawfish, we do, I think like five or six limit oranges. And then like the same lemons, but somewhere around there. And if you want to add shrimp or crab, you add that at the end. Because it'll just cook in like the residual heat. You don't want you don't want your shrimp and crab overcooked. That's for sure. Some people will add in, you know, put pineapple and some other fruits and stuff. Personally, I'm not a huge pineapple fan, so I pass on that. But I know that a lot of my Hispanic friends really like it because it kind of reminds them of like the fruit in a cup, pineapple with a tagine. So good.
You can see Jason got the really big crawfish. Personally, I prefer the medium, medium large ones. Oh, bug trying to fly in my eye. Um, the medium to large ones, the shells aren't usually as hard. And I feel like you get the same amount of meat as a jumbo. It's just... Because the shells aren't so hard, they don't weigh as much. That's been my experience. I know some people that don't want to eat anything other than jumbo. I just don't get it. You can charge a premium price for them though. So, you sell your crawfish. You can say, I have jumbo crawfish, and sell them for higher. <laughs> oh, these gnats, they're all over me. Took me too long to find somewhere to eat. The shells are sticking to the shrimp. Still tastes good. Ah, oh, why? I hope y'all can see me. The sun's glaring on the screen now, and I can't see myself. So, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this and find out I have something crazy on my face.
so good. So just editing an old uh, Ganjang Gejong video. And I'm craving it so badly now. It's like really good blue crab season for that. Where they'll be nice and have lots of eggs and very meaty. But I have nowhere in Houston that makes it. And I can't make it myself anymore until I get my kitchen back. And I have to try to schedule some time when I'm here to get it at Han Han Hill Garden. To go in and grab lunch there and get that to go. You know it's got good spice when it makes your nose run. See, these are just so big. The shells get really hard on them. Which makes them really hard to peel. But look. Ooh, I'm going to do it. Woo.
so good. This one was pregnant. Got little eggs in it. There we go. Look. <laughs> Do it. Uh huh. So good. It was so good to see Celeste and Jason today. I wish that I could have talked to him, but it's so busy. All these gnats are crawling up in my nose. Excuse me. Sorry guys, I broke that one. Ah. I tried to keep my hair out of my face, but it wouldn't cooperate.
so good. Last one. See if it'll peel nicely for me. Yep. Meat. Hmm. A couple claws, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a good claw. That. Ooh, that's another one. Another good claw. Thank you guys for joining me today. It was another beautiful day here in Texas and I just love getting to chat with y'all while I eat and hopefully I shared a little bit of wisdom regarding crawfish boiling. Um, I don't know if you found it interesting or not, but I do like talking about it since I do love cooking. So I hope that y'all are staying safe and staying well and I <clears throat> hope you're having a great day like I am like it has just been beautiful so um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of my new setup other than the few tilts um, how the audio was and all that <clears throat> and I will see you soon uh, stay safe stay well and stay blessed bye guys Thanks for joining me tonight I love getting to eat and chat with you if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear any suggestions you have for eating challenges or foods to try. So let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. If you're interested in learning some fun recipes, check out my cooking channel. And please follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with any updates or video teasers that may come your way. Well, I hope you all have a super blessed night and I'll see you again soon. Bye!